is going to be so impressed that I remember to change the batteries in the smoke detector. Where do you even put the batteries? <laughs> it's like an impenetrable fortress. Where's Larry? We're supposed to be playing this Civil War game. It pits brother against brother in a historically accurate 19th century environment. Also, it has robots. Men against machine, huh? Now that's a story I know all too well. Where are your batteries? Ugh, give up your secrets. Larry, there you are. Come, have a seat, get comfortable, and prepare to die. <laughs> Darnell? Sorry, this is only a two-player game. No worries, I'm just heading out. Actually, I'm heading out with them. Great, where are we going? <laughs> it's a team thing, players only. I am a player, player number one. See, there's my controller. <laughs> Sorry, you'll just have to play single-player mode until I get back. Dad, want to help me destroy some robots? You know that's not my thing. <laughs> die! Robots, die! <laughs> All fixed. You have to stop doing that. Just wanted to make sure you didn't leave without me. Remember, we have plans to see a movie tonight. Cybear, half cyborg, half grizzly bear, all attitude. Oh, that's tonight? Dude, let's go, we've got practice. I gotta go. Hey, Ronnie, cool Cybear costume. Please. I'm a purist. This is an homage to the 1964 cult classic Bear Bot 2000, Voyage to Ursa Minor. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Very few have. Ironically, a bear got into the film archive and mauled every existing copy. Honey, did you remember to change the batteries on the smoke detector? Of course. What is that strange beeping sound? I, I think it was a car alarm. This neighborhood is going downhill. We should move. <gasps> What's wrong, Lori? I'm having trouble with my math homework. Well, I homeschooled the boys for years, so I'm sure I can help you as well. <clears throat> Prove that no three positive integers A, B, and C can satisfy the equation A to the nth power plus B to the nth power equals C to the nth power. <laughs> I know it sounds simple, but I can't get my head around it. Well, don't look at me. The most complicated math I know is paint by numbers. It's okay, guys. I'll figure it out on my own. How am I supposed to be a role model to Lori when I can't even help her with her homework? You don't have to be a genius to be a role model. All the kids look up to me, mostly because I'm taller than them. You know, we could always get a tutor. That is actually a really good idea. Well, what can I say? I have my moments. <laughs> that was not one of them. <laughs> Oof, that was a tough practice. I didn't understand any of those hand signals Coach was giving me. I think he was choking on a mint. <laughs> hey, we're all gonna go see Cybear tonight, you in? Does a Cybear leak hydraulic fluid in the woods? No spoilers. Wait, I promised Luke I'd see it with him. I have to do the right thing here. Make sure he never finds out. That works too. <sighs> Thank you for coming on such short notice, Mr. Blount. My pleasure. I'm always eager to help stimulate young minds in their pursuit of academic excellence. Mm. Oh, he's good. <laughs> now, where is this young leader of tomorrow? We're right here. Yeah, we're right. Wait, what now? <laughs> Mr. Blount, we want to help our daughter with her homework, and we need your expert tutelage to do it. Mm, this is rather unconventional. On the other hand, I've already paid for parking. <laughs> I'll do it. 
Now, I just need to know what level to start you at. Well, I think I'm at a 9, 9.5. What about you, honey? You're probably, what, a solid 8? It's at a 10, right? <laughs> what are we even talking about? <laughs> okay, now, if you'll open your textbooks to page 17. For the last time, you don't have to put your hand up. Can I go to the bathroom? You've already gone three times. Yeah, but I drank four glasses of water. You do the math. Now, you'll notice the two sides of the isosceles triangle are of equal length, while the third tri... <laughs> Did you just hit me with a spitball? I'm sorry, I can't help myself. It's a reflex that kicks in when people try to teach me things. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. Now, let's move on to equilateral triangles and the properties that they... What is going on? She did it. Perhaps this arrangement was a mistake. Wait, please don't go. I assure you, we have the utmost respect for you and your profession. Mom! Quick, under the table! Our daughter can't know we're being tutored! Did I leave my calculator in here? I think I saw it in the living room. Hey. Oh. Ah. Did I mention how much we respect you? <laughs> Well, well, well. It seems football practice ran a little late tonight. Sure did. Good night. Is that hot buttered popcorn I smell on your breath? I can explain. Oh. Sticky orange soda, just like you'd find on the floor of a movie theater. And is that a Cybear collector's cup available only in select cinemas? There's also this picture I took of you in the theater watching the movie. Wait, you were there? That's right. Until I got kicked out for taking pictures. Okay, fine, you got me, I was there. But I swear, I did not enjoy the movie. Well, the limited edition t-shirt you're wearing says otherwise. <laughs> Go, sweetie. You'll notice the two sides of your turnover are of equal length, much like your garden variety isosceles triangle. Yeah, you're right. Good call, Mom. <laughs> we could also calculate the volume of jam filling in relation. Time for school. Okay. <laughs> Where's the chapter on jam volume? <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Hello, traitor. Is everything okay with you two? It's fine. He's lying. That's what liars do. They lie. Great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Is it cool if Darnell comes over for dinner tonight? Sure. Can my best friend come for dinner, too? Whatever you want. It's fine. Who's this best friend of yours? So many possibilities. <laughs> I'll be doing final interviews today. Got it. Lori, let's talk some more about the mathematical properties of your turnover. <laughs> Ronnie, do you want to come over to my house for dinner tonight? Why in the seven realms would I do that? Because you're my best friend, of course. So, how about it? Dinner tonight? Not in a million years. Hmm, a million years. Who are you? I am a distant descendant of Luke Stanley from one million years in the future. <laughs> cool! <laughs> What's your name, future man? My name is... Luke. <laughs> what is all that smoke? Those are the temporal mists, a common side effect of time travel. It looks like a bucket of dry ice. No, nope, temporal mist. Moving on. <laughs> I bring an important message. 
You must accept Luke Stanley's invitation for dinner. The fate of the Nine Realms depends on it. They added two realms? <laughs> Fine, I'll have dinner with Luke. The future of humanity thanks you. <laughs> oh, and, uh, bring a dessert. C represents the length of the hypotenuse, and A and B represent the lengths of the other two sides? That's correct. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Not a reaction I typically get from my students. Or anybody. I'm just so happy you came back. Well, I'm just happy that you agreed to meet my terms. How long do I have to stand here anyway? <laughs> Until you learn to respect educators, Mr. Stanley. Huh? That long? <laughs> I'm sorry for the secrecy, but I'm embarrassed to have my daughter know that I need a tutor. Hello? Oh, no. Lori's home from school early. <laughs> Quick! Get in the fridge! What? Hi, honey. How was school? Why is Dad in the corner? That's exactly what I've been asking. <laughs> oh, we have company. Yes, this is your father's brother. You can't possibly expect me I'll to triple your rate. believe that this is the same little Lori from all those pictures you sent. You're my uncle? How come I've never heard about you before? <laughs> all good questions. And the next time he pops in for a visit, we'll be sure to come up with some answers. Wait, can't you stay for dinner? Oh, no. Unfortunately, he has to catch a flight back to his home. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I could eat. What are we thinking? Chinese or Thai? I've arrived. You may announce me. Let me guess. My brother invited you? I'm not much for dinner parties, but the fate of the universe hangs in the balance. I brought a flan. Somebody say flan? Ooh, come here, you. Make yourself at home. Larry, don't be rude. Take the man's cloak. Thank you, my good man. See to it that it's laundered and pressed. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Hey, sorry I'm late. You would not believe how hard it is to make a flan. Oh, good, more flan. <laughs> I need something to wash down the first one. Anyone for more pizza? Mm. Oh, look! This piece is a perfect equilateral triangle. Mom, enough with the triangles already. So, you spent all those years doing research in an underground base in Antarctica? That's incredible. Yes. Credibility is certainly in question. What were you thinking? What? Antarctica sounds like it could be a real place. <laughs> so, entomology is your passion. That's right. Which reminds me, I should go feed my tiger moth. Mind if I join you? I've always loved insects. Although lately, my research has focused mainly on... What was it again? Ah, oh, yes. Jetpacks for monkeys. <laughs> you know it's only a matter of time. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. We need to come clean with Lori. Or, and I'm just spitballing here, we could keep lying. Darnell, could you please ask Luke to pass the Parmesan? Larry wants you to pass the Parmesan. I heard. Parm Ronnie, could you please tell Larry that Parmesan is only for people who keep their word and don't stab their brothers in the back? I've never heard that about Parmesan. Larry, could you please ask Ronnie to pass the napkins? Wait a minute, it's Larry and I who aren't on speaking terms. Why don't you just ask Ronnie yourself? Oh, no. We've been feuding ever since we were six. <laughs> for the last time, you don't own the monkey bars. They're for everyone to enjoy. <laughs> I was on a strict chin-up regimen. You were just playing spaceship. <laughs> I was on a perilous mission to get medical supplies to an alien orphanage on Endori 7. 
Wow, you're a true hero. <laughs> he just made all that up. Oh, like you made up that story about not going to the movie? Get over it. We don't have to do everything together. Sometimes I just want to hang out with my friends. Oh, so now we're not friends. <sighs> I don't have to listen to this. Well, neither do I. All right, spaceman, new mission. We joined forces long enough to bring those two back together. You're suggesting a classic team up. Well, let's not put a label on it. <laughs> this must be why future Luke brought me here. <laughs> the fate of the universe hinges on our actions here tonight. Well, I wish I knew that before I polished off two entire flans. <laughs> Exciting. I can't believe I'm going to get to meet Cybear. What luck that he's coming here to the Brock as his only public appearance. Yes, it does stretch credibility. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll be right there. <laughs> this is so exciting. Getting to meet my hero, Tony Hawk. I am such a big fan. How did I not know about this? <laughs> it was a last-minute thing. You have no idea how last-minute. What are you doing here? If you must know, I'm getting Tony Hawk's autograph. Don't be ridiculous. He's not coming here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to get a grizzly bear to sign my chest. Nobody's signing anything. This is an intervention. We're here to save your relationship. And in the process, save all of humanity. You're killing me, Ronnie. <laughs> I'm not spending one more minute in the same room as him. You won't have to. I'm out of here. Neither of you are going anywhere until you sort out your differences. Everybody else, hit the road. Come on. Hurry up, chop, chop. Get out of here, come on. N not you. <sighs> There's nothing you can do to keep me in this room. <laughs> I stand corrected. I have six legs, a spherical thorax, and I feast on fungi. You're a slime mold beetle. <laughs> well, I think it's time your uncle gets going. But we have so much catching up to do. <gasps> You should stay the night. No, oh, <laughs> that won't be possible. Well, it would be rude to not at least consider it. Right, dear brother? I'll go set up the guest room. I'll go get my shaving kit from the car and all my other earthly possessions. It's been a tough year. <laughs> this has gone far enough. Lori, this man isn't your uncle. He's a tutor I hired to help us so that we could help you with your homework. It's about time. I can't believe it took you so long to come clean. Wait, you know he's not your uncle? Of course. But how? We created the perfect cover story. You didn't even bother to give him a first name. It's Luther. I'm sorry we lied to you, sweetheart. I, I was just embarrassed that we couldn't help you with your homework. Uh, so am I staying or not staying? <laughs> Okay, I, I can take a hint. Well, I'll just be outside my car if you need me. Did I hear something? No. Must have been the wind. Quite chilly outside. Okay, never mind. If you still need a tutor, I'm always available. Oh, thanks, sweetie. I think you'd make a great teacher. So is that bird bath outside just for birds? This is a waste of time. I have nothing to say to him. And I have even less to say to him. Well, I guess we're in this for the long haul. Good thing I brought snacks. <laughs> I'm sorry I said you have no friends. I'm sorry I was so jealous. You know, no matter what, you'll always be my best friend. Oh, I could never stay mad at you. Wow, that took almost no time at all. I didn't even have a chance to get the bag open. 
go on. Get out of here. Have fun with Darnell. I'll see you later. Uh, maybe we can play a little of that Civil War game when I get home. It would be an honor to spill your blood on the battlefield. Truce over. It's okay. You can go too. I know you didn't want to be here. Actually, I thought we could hang out. If you're half as cool as future you, we're gonna get along just fine. Really? Come on. I'll show you my bootleg copy of BearBot 2000. I thought you said a bear destroyed every copy. Every copy but one. I keep it in a revolutionary bear-resistant storage facility. It's in a cooler hung from a tree branch. Uh. The length of an arc is equal to the circumference of the circle times the fraction represented by the arc? You got it! Great job, Bob! <laughs> Mr. Stanley. Do you have something you'd like to share with the class? That's not mine. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the corner.